when they reference like it looks like a shoebox or a you know and you say it's are like you asking me if i know what a shoebox looks like no, okay <laughs> come on <laughs> now uh you got a show uh tell uh t- tell us all about it um i've got a, a, a couple of shows but the the, the, the tv show you're here to talk is, about the ones uh, of the world i am yeah but i'm gonna crowbar me touring don't you oh no no that, you right? do that first the um no wonders of the world i can't see is on channel four to travel show because there's not enough of them on the telly at the moment and um you say that though i'm gonna interrupt <laughs> you you say that though but this is a travel show with the difference because i like the fact it comes from a place of pure cynicism it does, mate. Yeah, I mean, the, the whole point of it is, is obviously wonders of the world. Uh, that's what it's about, and I can't see, which I can't. It's it's kind of does what it says on the tin, really, doesn't it? I'd um, like to address the elephant in the room, and uh, for the benefit of Chris, there isn't an elephant in the room. Yeah. Really. And if you feel that on your neck, it's 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 a trunk. It's not me. Oh, okay, I thought we were going to uh, get a bit pervy there, mate. Uh, yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, but you can't see. You're, you're no, blind. No, 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 blind. And um, basically, the point of the show is: what's the point in going to look at the, going to the places where people go to look at the big thing that everyone goes to look at? Yeah. If you can't see it, and if someone's going to describe it to you, oh, you might as well you might as well do it from a photo, might you? You know. And, yeah. Um, so we've made this series. And that's how you get a pitch, by the way. You say, "Well, what's the point of me doing that? I might as well stay at home." And they go, "Well, we'll we'll pay for you to go with them." And um, we I've done Greece with Harry Hill, the Acropolis. Um, I've seen the, that one. The Colosseum in Rome with Tom Allen, Jordan yeah. with Gus Khan, and then Niagara Falls with Lisa Tarbuck. And it's kind Lisa of Lisa Tarbuck. The yeah. most underrated uh, broadcaster of my generation. I she, think. And she's wonderful, Holiday Company, you know. I bet. And um, it's kind of can they prove to me that it was worth getting off me behind and going to these places? And there's more going on there than just going to look and at the And was it thing. worth it? Yeah, it, I mean, do you know what? Right, we've tried to be. So first of all, we've made a comedy show, right? Yeah. It's a comedy show. It's entertaining, um, and and we've tried to be honest as well in that you know i'm not just pretending that everything was worthwhile some of the stuff was pointless and um, <laughs> and as you say some you know on, honest have, and, you, have you ever been able to see yeah so when they reference like it looks like a shoebox or a, you know and you say it's Are like you asking me if i know what a shoebox looks like no, I, okay come on <laughs> don't make me look stupid <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Do you want to go to another Robbie Williams song? <laughs> no, but then you you reply, is it like a gazebo? Yeah, because, you know, we're, we're looking at the Acropolis and yeah. Ariel's trying to describe that it's like pillars around the side with no no sides. And I'm like, well, it sounds like a gazebo, mate. Yeah. And, you know, but but it's... If I'm honest, going to stand there while he describes the Acropolis wasn't wasn't the most exciting part of the the the, the trip with Harry. But we, you know, you do other things around it, like we we did some um, Greek theatre and and pottery making and some Olympic stuff and all that. And it's us being a bit daft and being a bit silly. And you know, I got to I got to kind of, you know, have fun with Harry Hill, which was um, a phenomenal experience, really. Um, but other things that we did in the series are. You know, like the Niagara Falls was 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 by far the greatest part of that trip to to Niagara Falls. I mean, it, you, you can't. It, it was all encompassing. It was it was the only one that made a noise. It was multi sensory, and you right. can experience it in so many different ways. Whereas everything around Niagara Falls is quite tacky. If you if you, <laughs> if you never, you know, it's like it's like almost somebody's put like one of the most amazing things on the planet in Blackpool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've been. And I probably I experienced in a different way because I just experienced being in a crowd, and, yeah, and yeah. that wasn't for much fun. But you, you you probably experienced it on a different level. And we went slightly off season because the only time they let us film as well, so it was a little bit emptier, you know. <laughs> um, but Rome, for example, oh, just crowds everywhere, crowds boiling. It was like thirty five, thirty six degrees. I was with Tom Allen, who insisted on wearing a blazer and brogues and how long did you socks. know what he was wearing? Uh, you know, you have a yeah, field, you know he's you wearing field, blaze. You, you know he's wearing a brazen blow. <laughs> brazen blow. I can't even say a blazen brogues. It's hard to say. He, he, do you know what you like, Tom? Have a day off, mate. Have a, have a, <laughs> oh, come on, For just uh, ridiculous. He, he sometimes does it. He sometimes does Virgin Radio, and he's like, I'm always a bit like, yeah. how do you keep that energy up? Yeah. Tom Allen. Honestly, though, I mean, because he obviously part of the show. I mean, not all like a little like an aspect of the show is that th- these guys are trying to bring these places to life with their words, you know. And Tom is very, very verbose, you know. So even the slightest thing, like Chris, it looks fabulous. 